Today we're opening the Enchanted Crystal monthly subscription box. This one mm -hmm. is for the month of June. Right. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, this is the fun part, opening the box. That's why we're glad you're here. So like always, it's packaged nice, so you know your crystals aren't going to come broken. And we have the letter from Adam. <laughs> There's a nice little welcoming message here <laughs> from the team that picked out our crystals. Yep. So in this box, we always get a crystal grid. This one is black and it's got this nice pretty design. And it's kind of a natural background here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. People who work with grids will enjoy this one. All right, while Katie's unwrapping the crystals for this month, I'm going to show you the little special bag they included, peacock ore and matchstick quartz. <laughs> so we'll show you a little close-up of that. Now they're teeny tiny and they're hard to see, but they look like true matchsticks. The next one that we looked at in the baggie was the peacock ore. We'll take a nice close look at that. As I spin them around, you can see the rainbow colors in there. Purple and blue, a little reddish. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. What do we have? How many are there? All right, we got uh, six. Six. Six nice little packages. This one is seer stone. Hmm. So. Okay, so it's like purple. And you can like almost clear. See, yeah, you can almost see through it. You can see light through it. And it's got a polished surface and a rough outer edge. So you can see what it looks like both ways. I like that. But you can see that was cool. Yeah, you can see the light right through that. The next one that we have is called Ammonite. And look how it's spelled. A-M-M-O-N-I-T-E. Wow, this is the fossil type. There's a polished surface and then there's a natural outside. And that side's got all kinds of rainbows. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you could see it in the camera. So mm -hmm. all kinds of flashes. Wow. You see them? Yeah. That's really interesting. Nice. Next up, we have Labradorite, which usually is another flashy one, but we'll see what's inside. It's not, I was expecting, of course, you don't know, but I was expecting one to be all tumbled. But right. This is partially rough, and then the other side's polished. I like the way they do that because then you can see how it would be both ways. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Do you see any flash in there? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's kind of more like. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's very pretty. And it's a nice there cut. It is. You can let it sit on your desk or something, right? And it actually has got a huge flash. Yes, it does. They, yeah, they did a nice job with polishing that. And then the other side. You would not guess that no that was that such was. a shiny stone inside. <laughs> All right, that's a nice one for the collection. It's always nice when they have a nice flash. Mm -hmm. The next piece is orange calcite. 
I really love calcite, how it comes in so many different colors. Let's check this one out. Wow. Wow. That's, oh, a, that's a good piece. That's really a nice size piece. You know, that is a beauty. That is a beautiful piece of orange calcite. You know what I love about it is the feel of it. It's yeah, always, it's like waxy. Yeah, it's very smooth and slippery, like a different kind of feel from most of the other rough crystals. And that's a good size. Yep, that's a nice one. All right, very nice. No. Okay, what you got? Okay, so this one is Thomas Gonzaga Star Brary. Thomas Thomas Gonzaga Star Brary. Brary. That's one I never heard of, so we're going to learn something from this box. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's a name for another, like there's a more common name. Because, who knows? Mm hmm Okay. Ooh. Well, it looks like clear quartz, but we'll have to look it up. It might just be a location of the the mine where they got it from. Right. But it looks like the clear quartz point. If we had found that, that's what we would think. So we're going to look into what that name. And it's very is. clear. It's got like a occlusion. Yeah, some occlusion right there. It's like sticking out a little bit at the side. Yeah. It's beautiful though. It looks so um, bright inside. Yeah. All right. And lastly, what do we have? A selenite egg. Oh. Selenite. Can't go wrong having a piece of selenite. It's nice to have different shapes and sizes. Ooh, a big one. Mmm. It's got saran wrap around it to protect it. Okay, now we're all unwrapped. This is a very smooth egg. I never felt selenite that smooth like this. This is really nice. You want to hold it? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, it really shines white. And you feel it's like really smooth. Usually yeah. you could kind of feel the Selenite still Yeah, through. it really has a glow, right? Mm -hmm. it, it does feel wonderful. All right, so what a collection. Let's take a closer look at them. All right, Katie arranged them on the grid here so that you can take a look at them along with their identification. And what a nice collection, Katie. What do you think about this box in general? I really like this box. There's so many good pieces in it. What, do you, what are your favorites? Um, I guess the selenite egg. And probably this Labrador egg because it's so beautiful. This, the flesh. Mm -hmm. I really favor this I know you like orange that calcite. Oh boy, that's a nice one.
so there is the June Enchanted Crystals. Mm -hmm. We're definitely not disappointed with this box. This is one of the best ones we've got in a while, like for all the stones. Right. We usually get like at least one or two that we're like, wow, this is cool. We need to keep this in our collection forever. And then, but this one's got a bunch of them. Right. There were a few that we really thought were special. You know, I think the subscription box is great for getting your collection started or if you have a collection, adding new pieces that you've never seen before. Yeah. I think it's it's pretty good at giving you like some really random things you might not have even heard of before. But you do have to do your own homework. There's no info about how these stones are used, where they came from, or you know what people use them for. So when you get this it helps you to learn and grow and do some research and find some more out about crystals and rocks and and then it will keep you busy for the next month yeah <laughs> by the time the next box comes you're ready for another round that's a good thing i like it, <laughs> I like it a lot <laughs> okay come back and see us again thanks for watching bye guys see you next time